King Richard, what up? Hey, Julian, how are you? Good, good. How about you? Yeah, very well, thank you. Dope. Larry, how's it Hello going? There. Very well, very well. Thank you very much. Dope. Uh, cheers for having us. Yes, indeed. Thank you for coming on. This is uh, this is awesome. I love what you guys are building. And uh, so we got the uh, the Hog Lottery founders, the team in the building right now. We got uh, King Richard and NFT Larry. Uh, and we're going to talk to them about this sort of Solana blue chip NFT lottery. I was uh, eyeing this uh, D-Gen egg that I did not get. <laughs> and I'm still salty that I did not get one. Uh, and so, yeah, so I'd love to hear sort of like a 10,000-foot uh, a view of what you guys got going on. It seems pretty self-explanatory where you guys are buying or partnering with different NFT uh, projects and then selling lottery tickets uh, to have the chance of potentially winning it. Um, I'm actually very interested. Are you, are you buying them? Um, maybe we'll get into this later because it could be totally just a profitable, uh, thing. We can, yeah. We can get into the mechanics. I mean, um, yeah. So your question, but it's, it, it's a very straightforward process. You're right. It is basically a, a lottery where we offer blue chip NFTs and occasionally non blue chips, hot products, uh, new, new projects that are thing, a bit of hype. And we offer them to the market um, for what is essentially the dust in your wallet. So mm. picture, you know, cents on the dollar, uh, an opportunity to buy tickets for a low cost, but to win uh, a high value uh, prize at the end. So um, we came up with the idea for this. It's not necessarily a unique idea. Um, a few projects are actually trying to do it, but um, our angle on it has been to focus on being a, a lottery project. So rather than being, let's say, the D gods and holding raffles, we only hold lotteries. Mm. And that is what we are known for. That's what our project is driven towards. And as a result, we have to um, market and brand ourselves accordingly. So that's sort of our differentiator on that front. Um, so, yeah, that's basically what we do. And we like that you've been doing some lotteries. <laughs> that's good uh, yep. to hear. Uh, and so the... Uh... Uh, I'm seeing that there's a price and then a hog price. So I'm assuming that if, if I hold your NFT, I get a discount on uh, the entry price. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, the, the, yeah, that's exactly how um, the process works, the mechanics works. We want to give value to our hog holders, the people who have invested in us, bought our NFT. Um, and to do that, we've, we don't only give them a 50% discount on their ticket price. So uh, 0.1 so rather than 0.2 and, and and that varies depending on the lottery and uh, and the um, supply of tickets but also a pre-sale access as well mm. so they get in 24 hours before the general public um, which for us has worked really well because I think we're at we're coming up to lottery number seven and five out of the six have sold out within pre-sale the last two have sold out in 40 minutes combined so is there, a um, yes, fixed, is there a fixed number of tickets or is it uh, just as many people that buy tickets or is there a minimum no, oh, floor of like if we don't, you know, sell 200 tickets, then it will not be auctioned off or lotterized? Um, no, so, so there's no, there's no, um, it, it, there is, sorry, there is a fixed um, amount of tickets. So we want people, we want to be really transparent about that. Hmm. Um, let people know before they're buying a ticket, kind of what their odds are. What is my chances of winning this? It's not. It's not infinite like some of the other raffles that are out there um, and working out back from that. Um, in answer to your question around, is there kind of a floor of how many tickets we got to sell? Luckily, we haven't come to that point yet because um, we, we've been able to sell out the, the quantity of tickets that we put for, for each lottery so far, which has been great. Um, I think if we did get to that point, we'd have to have a conversation. And obviously for us, it's kind of well, maybe we can have a lost leader project here and there, but ultimately we've got to break even and and onwards really interesting and so it looks like one of the upcoming ones is a slightly different style than your previous ones in that it is a little bit more expensive but there's a lot less so i could have a theoretically a one in 33 uh chance to win an egg uh with yeah. the with the price being two two soul or one soul if i may uh hog nft owner that's correct. So, so basically, we're calling this the high roller lottery, the high roller hog lottery. And Interesting. the idea was given to us. It was, it was given to us really by 
a few of the community members who said, look, um, I like the idea that I can buy uh, a lottery ticket for the dust in my wallet and win this high value NFT. But I also like the idea that I can be uh, a bit of a big swinger and try and uh, maybe give myself improved odds, but pay more for the chance. So interesting. in this case, we've got, yeah, it's, it's interesting. I mean, everyone's, I mean, I, look, uh, you know, the NFT space, there are a lot of gamblers in this space. Totally. Right? So there, there, are, there have been people, there have been people who have come to us and said, look, why don't you run a very low number of tickets? I've sold per ticket and there's only going to be like 20 people in there. Now, this is an idea that we haven't quite gone that far yet. So what we've done as a sort of hybrid is we've started with this uh, D-Gen Ape uh, kindergarten egg, which yep. we're going to have on Friday, hopefully, where, like you say, 33 tickets, one soul per ticket. And your, your chances are one in 33 if you buy a ticket, yes, which is quite good odds, obviously. Um, and if you buy several, your odds are improved. But it's the fact that it's more of a gamble, I suppose. You're, you're, right. you're paying more for the right to enter the, that lottery. And it seems to already be getting some traction in, in our community. So, um, and from people outside of it as well, who have joined our community since the announcement. So it's really good to see. And, and we are willing to try these things. We're not afraid to try them. And we want to be a bit of a leader in the space if we can be. Very interesting. And what is the secondary price of a hog lottery NFT at the moment? Is it still 0.5, uh, which is, uh, I guess, on this page, it says uh, 0.5 to mint it? Um, yeah, so we're not on the secondary yet. So we're, we're still um, in the mint, uh, so to speak. Um, we're still embracing this sort of slow mint. We, uh, got it. We'll be completely honest. We sort of started as really, I guess, a PFP project kind of looking, sort of seeking for utility along the way. And then at the end of February, we rebranded to the Hog Lottery. And, and that's where we've really sort of our focus, our dedication is as a team now. We feel we've got an identity of, for, the, for the project and for the hogs. Um, we've got obviously utility for our hog holders and, and our new community members that are joined. So, yeah, 0.5 sold to, to, to mint the hog, which gives you those benefits we talked about. And so I don't know if this is uh, if we're breaking the uh, or, or if I'm leaking alpha or uh, this is intended tokenomics <laughs> here, but... If you do plan on uh, joining this DGen egg and the price is two soul, or if you own a hog, it's one soul, and the mint of a hog is 0.5 soul, uh, it would. No brainer, right? It would make, uh, yeah, it would be a no brainer <laughs> to uh, pick up one of those NFTs and save yourself 0.5. So there's your exactly. alpha for today. We like to, <laughs> we like to think that it, it pays for itself. Uh, pretty quickly in actual fact but I mean going back to the point that Richard was just making there uh, also about the slow mint I mean we we are we come from a background of running startups and uh, the interesting thing about the NFT space when you compare it with a in real life startup is that there's this uh, rush to the finish line it feels like people are in a, a mad rush to see immediate uh, sellouts or to see Get rich quick uh, yep. <laughs> yeah yeah that's and, how it is and, and and that is how it is but you know what we what we've coming from that background we know that the, the best way to deliver viability and the best way to deliver um a sustainable business is to grow it by getting market feedback by listening to your customers by trying things and by willing to being willing to fail at some things you know by willing to try a product or a service that doesn't work and then sort of reacting and, and growing from that oh totally and lean uh, startup we talk about this all the time on the stream Exactly. Is it Everyone's takes a, a, it takes a long time to build build something and pivot and understand where the product market fit is and you never come out with some vision that just is magically correct. It's always an iterative process of exactly. failing and learning and tweaking and and then eventually you get there and that's sort of at odds with the ethos of this get rich quick. Someone just put them <laughs> exactly. the microwave generation, which is actually a really interesting way to put it. Where like a lot of these people want instant satisfaction, uh, instant satisfaction, and uh, they just want to pop it in the microwave and have it done. But the thing is, is that sometimes you got to cook a steak on the grill, and that's not going to be <laughs> yes. in the microwave. If you want good food, it takes time, it takes effort, it takes a lot of energy. Um, and so I, I agree with what yeah. you guys are saying completely in terms of, um, and it's actually just to talk on a broader point. I think this is maybe why. Uh, the SEC in the United States doesn't allow companies that are not at a certain point to be publicly traded companies because it does take a lot of time to 
build and you have to change sometimes and your revenue fluctuates. And you, if you have sort of unsophisticated investors uh, dictating on every single piece of news, the new price of the company, it gets a little bit like chaotic. Um, and yeah. so yeah. you need some sort of stability, uh, which is why the stock market is like, you know, the top X percent of companies and not just every company being able to issue a security and uh, get it going right, right away. That's right. And I think that actually on that point, you know, we, this is a very uh, new space, obviously. It's a developing space. The NFT market, the Solana NFT market is as new as you can get, really. Yep. Um, and, you know, that we're not even at teenager stage yet, you know, and, and I think as time goes by, we will see more appreciation for the teams and the people that are willing to grow a business, or at least to take that approach, as opposed to try and offer or promise the world for something that really isn't achievable. I mean, how many projects, really good projects that have sold out now pretty much either have gone to zero or the slow rug is in play simply because yeah. the team really was only interested in the sellout. That's all they're interested in. <clears throat> they weren't interested in it being a business. They weren't interested in returning real value at the time. It's much harder to do that than it is to uh, sell a bunch of hype to people. And I Absolutely. think being, if we're completely honest, um, I think our whole outlook on this would have been different if we'd have sold out in five minutes as well. I, yeah. I'm not sure we would be exactly where we are today with what we think is a sustainable business model, like like Larry said, and offering true value to, to not only our own community, but sort of the wider ecosystem if we had have sold our PFP out in five minutes. Oh, 100%. I, 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 you don't I, learn I from successes. That's that's at least my philosophy. Absolutely. Is like a lot of the people who made a website and it went viral the next day, it's like, I'm not going to take their advice because they don't they didn't have to struggle through how to get users or how to do this and that. They just put up something and it just went crazy. And it's like, how much did you actually learn from the that viral aspect versus uh, a team like you guys where maybe it didn't go right initially and then you have to go have tough conversations and think about it and then you know, you're in the shower and you come up with this idea and you build it and then it keeps going. And it's like, you learn a lot more from the failures um, than you do from just a, like an instant success, in my opinion. That's, that's right. We, we've actually come up with, um, we've come up with so many ideas to, to generate uh, the interest in the product. I mean, another example, which we're going to release details of soon. So <clears throat> I think I can explain a bit of uh, information around it. We, we've been running uh, something called the Hogarary Collection uh, since about December time. And the, the Hogger Aries is based around the concept that if you mint 20 of our Hog NFTs, uh, then we will uh, create a bespoke Hog for you um, mm. to your specification exactly how you want it. Our artists will do that for you. And Very cool. that is a unique offering. Um, and so far, we've had nearly 20 people actually take us up on that. And because of that, we're going to have a collection that's called the Hogararies. So it's, you know, honoraries, it's a play on that. Nah. Um, called the Hogarary collection that will go on Magic Eden after we've sold out. Um, and, and that in itself will be a very small, bespoke, very unique collection that, again, we think delivers real value to those holders. And, and, and they themselves get to have something that, you know, reflects something about them. The, the person who's had their most recent Hogarary just finished today by our artist. Um, he's picked something that honors Star Wars. Hmm. I won't say any more than that for now. But you know, <laughs> yeah, this is a good offering, that, and these are the sorts of ideas we've we've had to come up with. I love that. And, and then is there? And any... it's really. Oh yeah, go for it. Go for sorry, it. sorry, Julian. I was just going to say on the on the hoggery side, it's been really interesting to see what our community have wanted. Um, so we've had we we've done one based on someone's DGN ape. We've got someone's SMB is in the pipeline. We, we've got someone who wants a Marty McFly. Uh, we've got someone who wants one to represent their, their career in the Navy. So it's been really cool to see how our community mm. have engaged with that and what they want from, from that. Interesting. I, yeah, and really so I, cool. I actually have three questions that are all, actually two questions, three questions that are all sort of tied together. So I'm going to ask all three and then you guys can sort of parse it out uh, how you want. Um, a, is there a royalty? B, do you make a profit? And C, can I give you guys my DGen Ape and auction it off on your platform and take a percentage and maybe rev share uh, with you? So if there is a profit, um, could I use your platform as a way to sell 
my NFT for potentially more than the floor price because there's like a, you know, each person is getting a yeah. portion or are you guys exclusively doing it through partnerships or are you guys buying the NFTs yourself? And that's, you know, why it's profitable. And then the third question is like, is there a royalty back to the holders or how does that work? Okay. So first question is there royalties? Uh, yep. There will be. <clears throat> Um, and we are actually in the process of coming up with the mathematics around that. So we're probably going to allocate 50% of all profits to a what we're calling the vault. Mm. And the vault will be the money that is distributed to holders who stake their hog lottery NFTs um, when we've introduced the staking mechanism. And um, that's not just going to be from lotteries, but we're going to launch games on the website. We're in active conversations with um, uh, with some developers and some uh, UI um, specialists who are going to help us with that. And um, we're really excited about that because I think that's going to be quite profitable. I think it's a proven, it's a proven money maker in the space to have betting games on your, on your yep. site. So um, that, like we were saying, everyone's a gambler, it seems, in the NFT space uh, at the moment. So we, we've got that in the pipeline and the royalty share is coming there for. So that's the answer to the first question. Yep. Um, the other the other side of it was whether we make profit. I don't know if you want to answer that, Richard, just so that it doesn't sound like I'm talking the whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously, uh, and as we discussed already, that this is a business for us. This isn't just a, a quick flip and, and, and a slow rug. This is a, a business. So for all businesses to be sustainable, we have to, to make profit. Totally. Um, we run our first two lotteries as um, loss leaders hmm. because we wanted to basically prove the concept, see if there, there was the demand there, et cetera, and, and make hmm. sure we had sort of really to, to test everything around it, really. Like I say, the, the concept, the demand, the technology, et cetera. Um, since then, we had then had um, a, a, a break-even lottery, and then for the last couple, we've been able to make a little bit of profit. But um, and one of your other questions was around the NFTs. We've been recycling that profit at the moment back into the business because we are buying the NFTs ourselves. Hmm. So we're we're scouring once we've come up with the idea of what we're looking for or what's the next hype. Um, we've done the Kets on Crec one recently. We knew that was a hype we have the fun job which is quite fun although we don't get to keep it but quite fun job of scouring through magic mm -hmm. eden etc and, and looking to snipe stuff so kind of for me it scratches that itch of having to buy nfts without spending my own money right. which is nice yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah so yes we will be making profit um but like i say currently it's it's all being recycled back into the business um when we announce um, as Larry was saying, that how the profit share works and the percentage that we use. And we said that probably be after Lottery 10 because we'll have a really good idea of how successful this can be going forward. Um, we'll try and be as transparent as possible about where our allocation of money goes. I think that's that's fair for the community. Um, we, we, we are very um, conscious of that there's that line between... Um, taking profit as a team and being paid as a team, which you, 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 you've got to be if you're running a business, but also looking like a cash grab situation. So, totally. it, and especially in this space, um, if, you, if, you're, if you're seen as a cash grab, the FUD will come in quickly and, and, and sometimes it's yeah. hard to come back from. Oh uh, yeah. And it's um, actually uh, one of the ideas that I had uh, just sort of as you guys were talking is you're, you're totally going about this the right way. Um, but it would potentially be interesting, this ties into one of the other questions I asked, uh, is to turn into somewhat of a marketplace. So like once you guys get a certain critical mass of users, uh, it could be interesting to let people uh, list their own. And then you can have, you would basically have an explosion of uh, potential lotteries, whether that's a good or a bad thing, I don't know, because then it maybe dilutes the, the um, activity which could be a bad thing but i'm just sort of thinking like five steps ahead already like uh just sort of how my brain goes about it um honestly it's you're, we've, you're we've been there haven't language. we yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're talking our language definitely that that's a, that's a roadmap item and it is actually we think the future of the hog lottery in the end it's actually going to be a place where as an alternative to listing on magic eden and having to pay 10 percent fees you could do it through uh, the hog lottery and guarantee to sell it because right. we basically sell out every time at least to an extent right now we are well fully we are right now but we hope to in future as well 
um, you know, sell out guaranteed, but then you we we would charge less of a percent instead of what uh, Magic right. or some other marketplace would. Yeah, that could be super yes, interesting. Would, uh, it would yeah. be, wouldn't it? And it would be unique in, in the sense that um, no one else is doing it. Yeah, we're talking about it now. Anyone can do it tomorrow if they want to build it. Right. But um, we're looking to build our critical mass and hopefully <laughs> we get uh, to take advantage of our first mover status. Love that. And I think one of the nice things for us to be, if we did go down that route, is we can be super selective about what we put on there and make it super exclusive. Like, it, not it, not anyone can, especially as we start. And right. So you have it. sort of a That's, filtering system, so yeah. it's not just like yeah. dust getting added. But, to, uh... Exactly. Yeah. You can you can you can effectively, I guess, apply to be to to. And I'm this is me thinking five steps ahead of yeah. how this would work already. Um, but yeah, you could sort of apply to be. Uh, or to two auction or, or, or lottery off, should we say, your own NFT. And yeah, we're probably not going to take a Solomander, but we will look at a Mindfolk, for example. So we can be a bit <laughs> select right. about what, what comes in. We, I, I think we've, we've, we've targeted ourselves or, or into sort of Solana hype NFTs alongside the established blue chips. So I think we need to keep that integrity of, of the brand and what we're about and people recognize us for, for good projects um we've got a good history with that so far we our, our second lottery I, I don't know if you saw on our, our website Julian. our second lottery was um a, a d god and yeah. three soul and there was Not 250 bad. tickets that d god <laughs> <laughs> yeah that d god i mean I, the, the person's made back probably just in dust more than he could have ever have dreamed of from oh, that yeah. lottery so unbelievable so we feel we've got hundred thousand yeah we feel we've got our ears <laughs> in the ground pretty well haven't we um yeah what do we, yeah hundred twenty thousand percent return on investment That's for one nuts. ticket which and is here's insane. actually another insane. idea uh and I, I i have the uh the connections if this is something that you guys wanted to pursue but it feels like there could be a theoretically a natural fit because like a lot of these people are as you said like gamblers or degen type of people like you could almost do a partnership with like a degen coin flip where instead of buying uh, the ticket, I could flip for it essentially, um, or maybe it lets me get two tickets instead of one. Okay, or I yeah. could just do a heads or tails. Um, it just adds sort of another layer of uh, whatever, like the serotonin that's going on in your head when you decide you want to. Generosity. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I think that I don't know. I can introduce you to a DCF admin if if that's a. Uh, interesting but yeah like a double or nothing for tickets or something uh could be uh an interesting yeah that's a collab. cool concept yeah absolutely yeah. we are we are we embrace all ideas there is no such thing as a bad idea yeah. as the person who's usually the holder of the bad ideas i like to say that <laughs> yeah. that's funny and then is there anything else that we uh that we didn't really cover um i think we got we did all the main stuff but maybe if there's some other stuff that you guys want to talk about um happy to uh run through that as well yeah i guess I'd, I'd, i from our point of view um i guess that it just to let it, people know that these lotteries aren't just for our hog holders although obviously that is the direction it's been going because of our the process and the the discount benefit of holding the hog but do take a look at us we've got a d gen um Hindergarten egg, or, or, or however you call it, one of those funky little guys that came right. from the uh, the bathroom activity, shall we say? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's going live in in just over three hours. Um, there's 360 tickets for that. We've got the high roller one coming up, um, probably Friday, and then next week we've got a stoned ape crew. Um, early next week we've got a stoned ape crew lottery as well. So lots coming up. Um, we've got our eye on a couple of other things. Um, little. Uh, a little spoil well not necessarily a spoiler but a little um insight for people here we've got a mind folk um teo robotics so we oh, are wow. really looking at those big blue chips coming up um and how we can yeah chip, and i know this sounds really really cheesy but to some people like we're hoping that we can change their life totally financially yeah. for from these and it, it yeah i appreciate that comes uh, comes out a little bit cheesy especially from a British British accent. But yeah, we're literally <laughs> looking to how we can change people's lives. So it's it's awesome. It's good. For, we, um, I, I guess we haven't really sort of spoke about the mechanics of the draw, but um, uh, Larry and I, we, we basically do it live Discord in our, in our Discord channel. Um, we have um, 
kind of like a, a well we have a random number generator wheel uh, nice. we'll present we, we we sometimes um yeah we sometimes throw in just random prizes like tickets for the next lottery just ad hoc when we feel like it um if you ever um, want to do it live on stream we're here we're ready oh, to do okay. it oh yeah so we did the eighty nine thousand yes. dollar solana giveaway for uh dj and coin flip so i'm happy to uh did host you? one of these in the future where we can get uh get everyone in here and they can uh we can yeah just do it live i think that could be cool yeah that'd be awesome yeah that'd be really cool if you guys want to stay sort of anonymous or to a certain degree i'm already in front of the camera so uh happy to uh sort of host that for you guys i think think you've got a better face for camera anyway my friend (laughs) (laughs) there's a high chance that we'll probably dox at some point anyway because that doesn't really bother me to be honest totally um, get in the habit of of when you start entering this space that seems to be what everyone does you just speak as an avatar right um but uh yeah i mean i wouldn't be that fussed about being on camera but um you know but whatever it is i i have to say that's a very kind offer and we would be uh very much very much up for that that would be a lot of fun yeah totally well we'll keep chatting in the uh, in the discord dms i'm sure as you guys uh keep moving forward and i will probably be entering this uh dgen egg a one of 33 shot that sounds like it uh, is right up my alley um i've lost awesome. many more solana awesome. on worse value propositions than that so <laughs> glad to hear you say it glad yeah. to hear you say it great okay. well okay so we whoa i you ready for you ready for a crazy question go for it what if i buy all 33 tickets <laughs> well so, if you can ooh. Quick yeah. right. okay so there's a competition yeah yeah, it, it, yeah exactly just, like uh, sorry larry i was just gonna say we oh, sold out 89 yeah. tickets in less than two minutes the other day so gotcha. i think the so competition when it goes easy. live got it got it got it it's not, yeah it's not just that yeah yeah and because of the way candy machine structured and stuff you can only mint one at a time so yeah you'd be very like and we've set it up so you can't pre-connect wallets and all that hmm. type of thing to pre- pre- prevent that from happening Smart. you guys plus got... you need to have <laughs> you a, got me. yeah plus you have to have a token <laughs> to, to be able to get into the lottery which you can only have in one wallet so yeah we we have thought about this we it was a concern of ours actually sort of on a bigger question of how do we keep the integrity of it how do we avoid botting um etc etc so right yeah well that's good i was just and trying also, to pop, pop the bubble try, there on that one yeah <laughs> <laughs> good so yeah, I will not. I will only get a couple if I if I if I can if I'm lucky enough to uh, to get well, in on it. We'd be glad. We'd be glad to have you. We'd be glad to have you. Absolutely. If you win, um, you know, then I suppose you could say it was well worth the two soul, and that was what we want to be able to say. Oh yeah, and then maybe we'll give it away on stream. I don't know. We're just we're. Hey, there you go. Keep it there going. Go. Hype go. it up. Awesome. Awesome yeah, guys. Uh, Sweet. So yeah, I think I think we sort of nailed everything, and then I'm gonna chop this video up and uh, throw it on YouTube if you want to uh, have your community watch it for the people that uh, couldn't make it live. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, we'd love that. Thank any, you very any, much for having. Any me. last things, or, or we we nailed it? Yeah, I think we nailed it. Just fa- yeah, as Larry said, thank you for having us. Thank you for allowing us to sort of get the word out there. Um, glad to have you in, come into the community and, and join us for some lotteries and get get you that high roller tag. Oh yeah, big time! I'm ready. <laughs> I'm minting after this after the stream. Good stuff. Sweet. Awesome Great. guys. Great to connect, and uh, we'll keep chatting uh, offline as well. Have a you good too. One. Thank, Thank you, sir. Take Peace, care. Guys.